right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and do. One of the best heavyweights in the world, Paris Francis, Cyril Gaon, and that infectious smile certainly gets wiped away on fight night, but this is a guy who absolutely enjoys competition as much as any heavyweight on this roster. Figures to have a striking advantage in this matchup and in most matchups in the heavyweight division. Most of these guys, if they have it in their repertoire, are gonna try to take him down. So what has he done? gaon has gone back to the drawing board. He has spent so much time working on his wrestling and takedown defense that he believes this crawl is going to show up large here tonight. to think of any fighter other than maybe Conor McGregor who has ascended to stardom quicker in the UFC than Cyril Gaon. Within a few years of training, he had a UFC belt around his waist and he believes tonight he will have a decided striking advantage in this particular matchup. Nice one-two combination there. Lunges forward with a left there. Gone circling to his right. Oh, oh good combination. Gone gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Oh, big knee. Wheel kick lands. Just missed with the leg kick. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, good kicks. There's the kick, it's blocked. Just misses there with the left. Just over three minutes to go round one. Nice body kick there. Well, the one thing about throwing jabs is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they will land almost every time. So you got to be careful. Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. Nice job to block the kick. Oh man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Oh, and a switch kick to the body for good measure. Nice job there by God. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, 
left punch now followed by a right. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize... Guillotine jump! That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Gon. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Fighters separate from the clinch. Nice body shot. Final seconds of round one. Highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one of them. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kick, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is going to continue to go down the same fight. path. Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the... Oh, it's so bad. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. Oh, back and forth we go. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> oh, the kick landed. Caught the kick. And now some separation. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Guess the single collar tie now. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Pressure, pressure, pressure. 
nice head movement to slip the left hand. Push kick there to the body. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. All right, there it is, yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you could tell that he had a purpose to come on here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Just over two minutes to go. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Superman punch lands. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching a film on this. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the targets, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side. Oh! Keep going again. again. Under a minute now to go in the round. Uh, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving a kick after kick into his opponent. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. Big right hand there! Khan's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, so what an end to the round. He got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. So he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. He has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Nice strike. Well, confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high, and I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Khan's limping right now. Clearly that right leg is causing him problems. The last kick from his opponent appeared to do the most damage. 
puts the body there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Finds his range with the jab. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Under two minutes now to go. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Gon's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Collar tie here in the clinch. Gon's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. But even the feet aren't moving. You've got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Ooh! All left hook to the head, it's blocked. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how Gon's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you got to think this is going to start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's going to start to get desperate. He's going to start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory.
Nice shot there by the champ. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. All right, time to go to the gas station, TC. These fighters are cooked, oh, man. They have thrown everything but the kitchen sink at each other, and it's showing because both of them seem exhausted out there in the middle of the aisle. Oh, you heard him again. Back to his feet. Nice straight right lands. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him. Now. He gets to the single collar tie. Look at him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Man, this dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do see the corners get involved, maybe more for head shots or leg strikes, but they gotta be thinking about getting involved here. Brown beef, man. <laughs> Brown beef, John Anik. Look at the redness on his side. He is getting destroyed. He's been pounded to the body. He's been hurt to the body. And I would not be disappointed if the corner says, hey, I'm gonna let my fighter live and fight another day. Gone, shot is blocked. Oh, nice straight left hand. Effective with the jab. Just over two minutes to go. Switch kick to the body by Seattle Gone. Very active, great punch. Well, missed on that one. Start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better make some adjustments or this fight could be over. You don't want to show it. That's why you see fighters, when they get hurt, they smile. To be limping out there tells you how damaged this guy is. Slips the punch. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming, you're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, he connects there. Went for the inside leg kick. All oh, collar tie. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, and that kick is blocked. for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, nice 
Nice straight there by Seattle God. Jab is on point right now. He is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Great punch landed with so much power. Lives well, been working hard defensively. Kick block there. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Gon's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Hey, he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. The swing and there's the miss by Seattle God. Back to the feet now. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish with it. I think it's right there. But at times you just overswing and you Whoa! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, with authority, the body. Mixed the body there. Missed with that attempt. Big shot lands from both guys. Under two minutes now with which to work. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. to avoid the left. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Caught the kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. And clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Well, clearly his leg is hurt. And now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Chip. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up. But his opponent told us, he goes, this guy does not check kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing. That is cover for his opponent. But the celebration is on. One of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance.